What's up, YouTube? Tricky Trapster. Welcome to today's video where I'm bringing you guys another Shin support guide. You guys wanted a guide, so here is another one. This one is updated from the previous one, but before we get into today's video, I just want to thank you guys for all your support. We have been getting a crazy amount of subs, views, likes, donations all around. Uh, the amount of viewers on live streams is nutty, so thank you guys so much. As you can see, we just literally just hit 15,000 subscribers a few minutes ago, which is crazy. So thank you guys so much for all your support. It's been crazy. I've been gaining hundreds, literally hundreds of subs a day, which is ridiculous. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. But getting into the guide. So there's two ways I play Shin support as it stands right now, and I'll get into the builds. Um, as you can see, I'm Diamond 4. Not every game I play um, that I upload is ranked, but I would say over half of them are ranked. The past two weeks I played nothing but ranked, except for the past couple days. But Getting into the runes that I use, there are two pages I use for support. This is my new favorite page. This is the page that I've been using recently. I haven't played normals with this, but I did use this in ranked. I actually uploaded a few games with this in ranked on my channel. But this is probably my favorite build right now, or rune path for Shin support. And it's Glacial Augment. So Inspiration Resolve, you go Glacial Augment, Perfect Timing, Magical Footwork, Cosmic Insight, Conditioning, and Fawn of Life. Now the reason I like Glacial Augment so much, besides just the initial slow, is the Freeze Ray. So the way you want to play this is you want to get Sightstone first and then Rando in second. The, re the reason you want Rando in second is because Freeze Ray procs on uh, items with active slows and Rando is like the only, only great item you can build on Shin, if that makes sense, that would proc Freeze Ray. You could build Bork, but... Building Bork as support, that's bad for so many reasons, so Rainowans as support is really, really good. Uh, it's going to help with crit reduction as well. Uh, most ADs build crit, not all of them, but most of them do. But regardless, Rainowans second is an incredible pickup. Obviously, you don't really need these, but Glacial Augment is so good. So, so good. And perfect timing. There's not really a good thing to take here, honestly, because Hex Flash is, her Hextech Flash is kind of kind of bad. It's, it's really bad on Shin. It's good for like Fiddlesticks and a few other champs, but it's just really bad on Shin. Biscuit Delivery, you don't use mana, so that's wasted. Actually, some of the games, I don't even use my initial potions that I buy at the start of the game, so I don't need that. This is good because, one, you can actually use it for like tower dives and stuff, and two, you can sell it for gold to get random ones faster. So I usually sell this. You can also sell the biscuits for gold, but you can actually use this stopwatch effectively on like the biscuits and then sell it. It sells for the same gold whether you use it or not. And then Magical Footwear, obviously, really, really good. I I might look into Futures Market in the future, but uh, I haven't used it yet as support, so uh, I may come back to that. But right now, Magical Footwear is really good. Saves you 350 gold, 300 for free boots, 50 gold reduction on Tier 2 boots, and it gives you 10 more movement speed, which is better for uh, catching enemies. And then Cosmic Insight gives you CDR on everything. That needs an exclamation. So good. I used to run Celestial Body, but... It doesn't scale well. Obviously, it's meant for the early game. You get HP and damage reduction. It's pretty worthless outside laning phase. This is good all the time. Really, really good. Also, you get the items cooldown for Freeze Ray. So, very, very good there. The whole point of this build is Freeze Ray. You want that Freeze Ray proc. It gives a 50% slow for 5 seconds, and it's a pretty big AoE. So, if you turn into a team fight and you pop randoms with Glacial Augment, it's disgusting. Nobody's going anywhere. It's pretty, gr pretty great. And then resolve over here. Um, obviously conditioning, you want scaling armor and MR. That's pretty standard. And then fun of life to help your teammates heal. Uh, also team uh, team fight based. So support you obviously want to play team fight based. Um, so that's where the glacial augment, fun of life, and all this stuff comes into play. But the other build that I do, and I'll do it on here because I don't have enough room pages on this account. I need to buy some. Uh, let me make the other page I do here. So I go resolve. And I go Aftershock. Aftershock, uh, a lot of these are going to be the same, um, just because I, I go Revitalize there. And over here I go Inspiration, once again for the Boots and then Cosmic Insight. So this is the second page I like running. This is very different than the Glacial Augment. When you go Glacial Augment, you want to play, I'm not going to say super passive, but you want to play passive. You don't want to play as aggro. With Glacial Augment, I usually run Exhaust instead of Ignite because I'm playing more passive. It's more just a farm lane until you get items. Obviously, if you can win fights, by all means fight, but I usually play a lot more passive in that lane because I'm not going to have the bonus damage. I'm not going to have the bonus armor and MR when I taunt in from Aftershock because I'm running Glacial Augment. So I play that a little bit more passive. It's more of a mid to late game. Uh, definitely team fight oriented, 
but uh, this build is a lot more aggro. So Aftershock does damage, makes you tankier. I run Ignite with this build, or this Rune Page. When I say build, I mean Rune Page. Um, but I run Aftershock here. Now, I have not tried Guardian that much. I've tried it a little bit, but Aftershock just seems really strong right now, so I'm a big fan of it. Final Life, same reason for the other one. Uh, help your allies heal. Conditioning, once again, scaling uh, armor MR. Revitalize here is really, really good with Locket, with Knight's Vow. It also works with your passive now. They buffed it in the last patch, so you can cast it on yourself. It gives you bonus healing and shielding. That's pretty much all it does. So any active, your passive, anything heal or shields, it will be increased by 5% and 10% if you're below 40 HP. So really, really good there. And then obviously, same story over here. Boots are going to save you money, give you 10 more movement speed, and then Cosmic Insight, CDR, and everything. So those are the two pages that I can vouch for, two pages that have worked pretty well for me in Diamond. Um, but yeah, I, I prefer the Glacial Augment build, honestly. I think it's better, because usually when you play really aggro, it's either going to go really well, or it's going to go really, really poorly. It's Feast or Famine. But with the Glacial Augment, it's a lot more consistent, it's a lot more controlled. Um, if you're behind, it's okay. You're still going to be decent in teamfights with your uh, Freeze Ray and everything else you have. Um, but if you're ahead, you can still use it to catch and run down people. Like You slow people so, so much with uh, Glacial Augment. Uh, it's really, really underrated, I think, I shouldn't support. But if I had to pick one page to always run uh, for the next few weeks, I would pick Glacial Augment 100%. Aftershock second. But uh, yeah, I really like Glacial Augment right now, and I will be playing more ranked with it in Diamond 4. I'm Diam Diamond 4 right now, I think. I haven't really played... I don't think I've played a game since Diamond 4, so yeah. We're Diamond 4 right now, so I'll be playing Glacial Augment and ranked in the next few days. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, those are the two pages that I use. Um, as far as builds go, with Aftershock, when you're running... Excuse me, when you're running Revitalize, you want to build, obviously, healing and shielding, so... Locket, uh, Redemption if you want, Knight's Vow. Locket and Knight's Vow are pretty standard. Uh, I really like that. Occasionally I'll get Redemption, but not very often. It's not because it's a bad item, it's a great item, but I just I don't build it that often. Uh, it still works with passive too. Um, but for the other one, I go more of kind of like a top lane build, honestly. with Because uh, you're not going to have Revitalize with other builds, so healing and shielding isn't as important. But uh, I still go Locket sometimes. Obviously, you get random ones right after Sightstone, and then... Uh, Targon's Brace, and you can upgrade that if you want to Eye of the Equinox. I usually do Eye of the Equinox if I'm not doing Revitalize, because I just prefer that. But uh, after that, you can kind of build whatever you want, depending on what you need. But that is the Shin Support Guide as it stands right now. This is what I'm running, what I'm using in Ranked and in Normal. So it seems to be working out pretty well. I've been having decent luck uh, with both. I, I really like Glacial Augment. I think it's more consistent. I think it's going to be better in the long run. Aftershock is just so feast or famine, and when you're playing with an AD that you're not dual with, it's really, really difficult for them to react to your hard engages and like all ends at level two. Uh, so it usually doesn't work out well for me. But when you're running Glacial Augment, you can just play with your ADC's pace. Like if they want to fight, you fight. If not, then you just chill and uh, protect your AD. So I like the Glacial Augment because it's better consistently. It's just it works out better in the long run. Uh, Aftershock is kind of risky. It's fun, but it's risky. So that is what I have for you guys. Please let me know if you want me to try anything else. I'm very open to rune suggestions and stuff like that, as long as it makes sense. Um, let me know if I miss anything or you want something explained further. But uh, that is it for today's video. So thank you guys so much once again for your support. We're at 15,000 subscribers, which is crazy. At the rate we're going, we're going to be at 16K before Christmas, which is ridiculous. So thank you guys for all your support, all the likes, all the comments, all the subs. All the donations, all the hours you spend in my live streams. We've had close to 200 viewers in live streams. Uh, almost not a, not every stream, but almost every stream, which is crazy. On the weekends, like we're pushing 200 like crazy. So thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate. It. Also, you guys keep asking me if I stream on Twitch. I stream on YouTube. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and you have notifications turned on, it's a bell icon beside the sub button. You will get notified when I go live on YouTube. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a lovely rest of your day.